Good morning. I would like to introduce John Moore, who walked carrying this cross all the way from Santa Fe, New Mexico. He arrived here via the Cape and Homestead. He'll say a few words now. Thank you. Before, before I, I give a little presentation, uh, I want to start where, where this started, and that's with the person who carved the crucifix. He came out here today to support me. He came out here to, to make sure that if I, if I fell again and broke one of Christ's arms, that he would be here to fix it and uh, put a nice finishing coat on it so it'll, it'll, look, it'll look good for this community. If uh, Mark Chavis would stand up, please, we want to recognize him. He's an artist that carved the cross. <laughs> yeah, if you want to shake his hand later, you can always tell people you, you touched the hands of the person who, who, who did the carving. Uh, I did this walk uh, for several reasons. Uh, one, I wanted to honor Father Capon. Uh, I read about him. I'm a Knights of Columbus a member, uh, and and in the Columbia Magazine they had a small article, and I read it, and then I found out more about Father Capon, and I wanted to do something for Father Capon to honor him. And as I thought about it and thought about it, what I realized is not I'm not only honoring Father Capon, but I'm also honoring the people that he cared so much for and loved. I wanted to honor the, the military, the, the veterans, and, uh, and also that he had a special place in his heart for. I also wanted to, he wanted me to honor the people in this community who he loved so much, and after 60 years, they still love him and remember him. So uh, that's, that's, why, that's my motivation to get here. And if I wasn't carrying this cross for you, in this community, I would have quit a lot of times. Okay, um, uh, I chose my route. It wasn't the easiest route I went to. I started the Veterans Cemetery to honor veterans in in Santa Fe, New Mexico. It's a National Veterans Cemetery. I walked through the Sangro. Spent nine days walking through the Sangro de Cristo Mountains, which is in Spanish means the Blood of Christ Mountain. And uh, I chose that route because it is the Blood of Christ Mountains, and I wanted to uh, seven days into that and to walk into the, through Sandra, Sangre de Cristo Mountains. I, want, I arrived at the at the Vietnam Memorial that Dr. Westfall built for his son and, to, and for our Vietnam veterans, when everybody was spitting on him, calling him names very hurtful names, pushing them when they were returning from Vietnam. He built a memorial to his son and to the Vietnam veterans, and he stayed there every day and welcomed them and thanked them for their service. Okay, so uh, that's my kind of guy. And I, and then, uh, of course, I came past the Father Capon, I mean the Capon Homestead, and then, of course, arriving here. Um, if I could describe, you know, the welcoming I got, it, 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 it'd be the story of when Christ entered Jerusalem on the donkey and everybody's putting palms in front of him and he was kind of, kind of uh, welcomed, had a hero's welcome. Uh, you know, I can relate to that story because when I think of that story, I think of the donkey and how happy that donkey must have been, you know. <laughs> because really, that's, I'm the donkey that carried Christ I carried him 630 miles. I carried him for 40 days, 15 averaging a 15 and 0.75 miles a day. Um, and uh, you know, I, I'm I'm overwhelmed and and I'm humbled by 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 this community. And what I'd like to do is, um, you know, people ask why would a 61 year old man do this and why won't you just put it in the car and drive it up here? And I said, well, the journey's part of the gift. So if I could do, if I could officially present this crucifix, it's, it's exactly 47 inches tall, which is the same height that the cross was that was carried out of the POW camp in North Korea. 
the Christ figure is the same height as that that was carried out of the, on the cross that came from North Korea. The only difference is the horizontal piece had to be longer to to um, accommodate the crown the the uh, barbed wire that goes around it. All right, uh, this was designed by some parishioners here in Pilsen, Kansas, and and uh, I asked Mark to carve it in honor of of uh, Father Capon and the, the people that he loved so much. So uh, I guess I officially would like to present this to to this uh, to the Father Capon Guild, who will take care of it and and watch over it for this community. Thank you. Yes, well, once again, um, I wanted to present this crucifix to the Father Capon Guild and to the community of Pilsen, Kansas. And in honor of Father Capon, uh, 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 Christ Lord Father Capon, um, the community of Pilsen, and, and our veterans, POWs, MIAs, and uh, our active military. And in return with the uh, Pilsen community would like to present John with this statue of Father Capon in appreciation for just a little appreciation for what he did. And we especially want to thank John for this long walk. I mean 640 miles. <laughs> and tomorrow <laughs> And also to Mark for coming and being representative on all rep. He's the one that did the carving. It is beautiful. Uh, we will have it down the church basement, so anybody wants to talk to John or Mark, we'll be down there, and you can touch the crucifix or whatever you want to do at that point. So thank you all for coming to Pilsen, and, and especially you. you, John. Thank you. <laughs>